Ayo, what's shaking bacons? I haven't done a video in a super long time and you can probably tell my background is different because I moved yet again. Um, hopefully this will be for the last time in a really long time. Fingers crossed. I used to live like an hour away from my job. Now I'm only five minutes away from my job and let me tell you, that's pretty primo. I'm not gonna lie. So I just had a quick makeup tip for you guys. Um, I love the Benefit Professional Primer. I got a sample of it because I can't bring myself to spend that kind of money on those products. Got a sample of it in one of my Pop Sugar boxes. Absolutely loved it. Immediately went on the hunt for dupes. Um, I'm sure many of you have heard of using the Monistat Chafing Gel as a dupe for some of the primers like the HD primers or whatever the heck they're called and I've been using these for a while and I'm it's fine but it wasn't quite as good as the benefit professional was for me and then I read the good dupe for the professional was the NYX pore filler NYX NYX pore filler and my issue with this pore filler is that it comes out kind of chunky and it's it's almost not like there's not enough silicone in it, so then I had the brilliant idea to make the perfect dupe for Benefit Professional. I combine these two products, and it gives me the perfect Benefit Professional dupe. I get the consistency, I get the oil coverage, I get the pore refining, and what's really funny is I mix this every day on the back of my hand, and then I apply it, and the back of my hand looks so good right now. I'm not even gonna lie. I finally noticed it the other day. I was like, oh my gosh, my hand looks super Gucci. So all you do for this dupe is you get like, what are these? Like six, seven bucks at Walmart. You get a little seven dollar thing of Monistat chafing gel. Would it help you guys if I actually held it up the right way? Maybe. So you get the little Monistat chafing relief powder gel and you get the NYX pore filler and you maybe, maybe you already have these on hand. I already had them on hand. So you combine half, you combine a little bit of the NYX, and I'll show you why it is I don't like this. Look at that. Can you see this? Can you see? It just, it comes out kind of like chunky, and it's just not as creamy. So then what I do is I just add a little bit of the chafing gel. And then I just mix it together almost like I'm mixing a paint. And then I get this beautiful consistency. Let's see if I can actually. That looks exactly like the Benefit Professional. And I should have held on to my sample to show you guys. And I'll just put the primer on here because I'm getting ready for my day. Put the primer on real quick. And I tell you what, I, I did use them side by side for a bit because I was like, oh, I wonder if this is a good dupe. I wonder if this is the dupe that I need for Benefit Professional. And it was. I couldn't tell the difference when I used them, when I used the Professional, when I combined them like this. So you just do kind of a one-to-one -one ratio and you can see the shine's gone from my face. Pores are minimized. And there you go. And the great thing about it is, well, the two of these together might cost like $17 and you're thinking, well, why wouldn't I just buy the professional? The difference is the two of these will give you like three of those professional bottles. And it's it gives you the same effect. So if you're looking for a great dupe for the professional and you're not completely satisfied with this NYX pore filler, I highly recommend one-to-one -one ratio mixing the Monistat with the pore filler together. That's my pro tip today for you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful summer, and I'll talk to you later.